Welcome to Take Care guys, this is Saurav here and today I am going to unbox the Motorola Moto C Plus Indian Retail Unit. So let's get started. Hey guys, here is the box that you can see it in my hands and uh, it's a very colorful box to be honest, uh, very typical of Moto. Here are some quick uh, specs that you can see, 4000mAh battery, 5 inch screen, quad core processor, 8MP 2MP camera combo which is kind of a disappointment. Anyways, uh, we get knocked out of the box and that's a good advantage for a lot of people who prefer, uh, you know, latest version of Android out of the box. So here is my knife, age old knife, I'm gonna replace that very soon. So the uh, wrapping has been cut off and here is the box and yes there is the phone. Well uh, the phone looks uh, quite uh, good, it is a black variant that I ordered. It's actually not mine, I ordered it for a, for a friend of mine. So hello Moto, hello slogan is there, it is the uh, earphones with inbuilt mic. Uh, very standard quality earphones with mic, you can see that and you can easily do calls and whatever and here are the charging brick now Motorola claimed that it's a 10 watt rated charger and yes it's a 10 watt rated charger it's a 5.2 volt 2 ampere charger and yes it will charge your 4000 mAh battery of the Motorola C plus very fast now here is the charging come data syncing cable not a type C it's a USB micro USB 2.0 some paper works which are no, I'm not gonna read them. And here is the uh, replaceable 4000 milliampere battery that I personally think is a great advantage. So I'm gonna insert this uh, battery into the device. So here is the hinge. Here is the hinge. I will show you that later on in this video. And uh, let's just un. Okay, it's, it takes a bit, uh, you know, pressure to pull it off. And here is the battery goes. And you can see there are two SIM slots. This one supports VoLTE. This one is up to LTE, and there is a micro SD card slot. So thanks Motorola for providing us three dedicated slots for three dedicated SIM cards. And sorry, and yes, 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 I forgot that the memory card. And yes, so now, so now I'm gonna boot up this whole device and then come to the overview. On the front, we get flash to megapixel camera, earpiece, five inch display, which is 720p display, and three navigation buttons. On the back we get the 8 megapixel rear camera, single 280 flash, Motorola branding and a single speaker. On the top we get the charging port and the 3.5mm headphone jack all at the same area. And on the bottom we get the primary mic with the hinge that I was talking about. On the left we get nothing at all, it's a blank space. And on the right we get the volume rockers and the power button. So guys, uh, those physical overviews were there and now coming to the uh, well, the phone, the, already a lot of uh, apps has started to get un uh, installed in my device, yes I am connected to the Wi-Fi, very minimalistic app approach, thanks Motorola for that, you do get a file manager out of the box and all the apps are actually, you know, Google apps that are very marginal, very less amount of third party apps. Here is the settings, you can see that, a uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, I haven't installed any uh, SIM card as of now. The display is of very good quality, I would say, the touch response is not, it's not that good, I'm not very happy with the touch response at all. We get around 12 GB free for, you know, in, I mean, in case of internal, you get around 12 GB, 13 GB free uh, for app installation and file, you know, storing files. We get around 1.2 GB free on the very first boot out of 2 GB, which I think is a good one. I really loved it. I mean, and this is quite obvious in stock Android, uh, Android OS. So yeah. And now the Nougat va variant that we're gonna get, we'll get further updates with, uh, you know, with time to time. And I'm waiting for that for the further updates. I don't think that this phone will be updated to Oreo. You can easily see that there are 20 updates already available. I will update that later on. And now guys, I'm gonna show you some camera samples. I hope you will like that as well. So talking about the camera, the rear camera captures very good still images at proper daylight. Uh, the front camera struggles to capture good quality images and the you can't shoot 1080p. Uh, you just only can shoot up to 720p and that is a major disadvantage at this time. The, ca the outputs that came out to be very good in case of the rear camera, but the front camera sucks at times, for most of the times to be honest. In Android, I got around 29,603, 
which I think is a good score. So I will be checking the gaming benchmark, gaming test as well. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video if you loved it, vote it down if you disliked it. Do subscribe to our channel for other videos like this regarding this one as well. This is sort of signing off for today. You have a great day. Till then, bye. Stay awesome. Stay subscribed.